hello everyone welcome back to another video on pops productions tech in today's video i have with me the galaxy a1 and i am going to show you guys how to bypass frp lock on this device the device is currently running android 11 on the 2021 security patch uh, so without any further ado let's get started Also guys, I would like to give thanks to hardreset.info because they provided a very useful guide that you guys can use. So, you know, in your case, uh, you want to figure out how to do this, but then you want a very detailed guide, then you can head over to their website to do it as well. Um, so let me show you guys, of course, how to get this done. So first of all, um, let's go ahead and download the Samsung USB drivers. So be sure to download it and um, you would also want to have 7-zip on your device because the package i'll be downloading uh, would be a 7-zip file and that you you would need 7-zip to extract it um, so here's the file right here it's called sum frp 2020 i believe that's a version from 2020 um, so the phone is on and what what this uh, app would basically be allowing us to do is to open up the browser and to call an activity so basically it will call one of the apps on the device so uh, if you'd like to open the uh, galaxy store or if you'd like to open the browser or youtube or files then it will take you to a site that would allow you to call these activities so uh, you would also need your otg um, i have mine right here um, and of course which you'd be using to uh, use smart switch to transfer data to the device so basically you would need another android device with a google account that you would be using to transfer that google account onto the device basically so it would be that you're signing in while it's transferring the data so let's let's go ahead and do this um so this might also prompt you for um device driver signature signature verification on windows you know the security uh feature um that you might have to disable uh, i believe i disabled mine however if i didn't then i would have to reboot and go ahead and do so so i'm going to connect the device right now and it should be detected all right so there should be something coming up on my screen anytime from now uh, the pc should be detecting it all right so it's detected all right, so all we have to do now is just go ahead and open up the app. Okay, and from here, um, we're going to click bypass FRP. So this app is actually brought to you by Easy Firmware. So be sure to support them as well. Um, so let's head over to uh, bypass FRP. So you're going to click on this link and it's going to tell you that the device has to be connected to Wi-Fi, which I didn't do. So let me quickly do that. So this Wi-Fi network is connected and now I'm going to click OK now on my screen and it's reading the device information and it should get right and it's going to open up the browser. Okay, on here it says failed. Um, so look, this is where the issue comes in and what we have to do is basically go over to settings on our PC to, um, to disable the security feature. So I would have to go over to recovery. Uh, where would that be though? I believe it should be over here. I'm going to search for it, recovery options. Right, so recovery options, and then we're going to head over to um, advanced startup. Um, I believe on Windows 7, you would have to turn off your PC and press F8 several times until it goes into this um, advanced startup. On Windows 8, it's the same procedure as Windows 10. You would just have to go over to settings and go over to re reset. And then in here, you will see the advanced options uh, here and you select it. So the PC is basically going to reboot at this time and head over to the advanced startup. So, all right, so here we are, uh, let's, it's been a while since I did this. So I think it would be in troubleshoot advanced options and it should be in uh i believe right here yeah. startup settings okay and here you will see 
what it's going to allow you to do so this is what we're going to be disabling driver signature enforcement so we're going to click restart and the PC will take us to this menu all right so here we are and you're going to use your function buttons basically to do this um, so on here we have it at number seven so you're going to be pressing F7 on your keyboard and that's basically it. It's disabled, so the PC would now reboot. And then from there, we're going to go back, open up the application, and try uh, sending the command over to the device. Right, so the PC has booted up and we're going to open the app again. Alright, so let's go ahead and try again and, and uh, click bypass FRP. So let's do that. Alright, connect the device. Okay, and um, let's click bypass FRP now. Let's see what happens. Alright, so here you see this prompt, click install this driver software anyway. Alright, and it's going to send some, some commands over to the device and you should receive a prompt on screen. Okay, so here it says launching browser event. So we're going to click over here to view, so it will take us over to the browser and uh okay let's wait for this uh prompt should come up now okay so tap view it's going to open up youtube then launch the browser at this point i'll disconnect because we won't be needing it again unless we lost this step all right so we're on the browser um we're now going to head over to a link which i'll be putting on screen for you guys all right, so you're going to head over to hardreset.info slash bypass. All right, so it's going to take you over to this link where you'll be given the option to launch certain activities on the device, which will be using the Galaxy Store. So let's wait for that to load here. So here you see the first option here, see that Galaxy Store. So it's going to attempt to launch the Galaxy Store app. Alright, so for me it doesn't seem to be opening the Galaxy Store, so we have several alternatives there. Um, let's try with the Google app to see what happens. Okay, so it opens up the Google app and let's search for Galaxy Store from there. Alright, so for me it doesn't seem to be opening the Galaxy Store, so we have several alternatives there. Um, let's try with the Google app to see what happens. Okay, so it opens up the Google app and let's search for Galaxy Store from there. Alright, so the app was updated, it closed, so we just have to open it again. Alright, so Smart Switch has been installed and we're going to open it. It's already opened on my other device, so uh, basically it's going to prompt for... Okay, right here. Um, now... Of course, at this time, you're going to be using your OTG cable, so I'm going to connect mine. Okay, so the two devices are connected. Um, so on your device, uh, which has the FRP lock, you're going to tap receive data. So Galaxy slash Android. All right, so you're going to select this option here, Galaxy slash Android. And on here, you're going to select cable all right and cable on here as well all right so i'm going to try another device just to see what happens all right so let me go ahead and connect now all right so it looks like it's working
all right guys so attempt number two it didn't work for me on the first attempt so what i did was disconnected close the app on the device send in the data open it back and then um it worked so let me show you receive data and here you're going to send cable here same thing cable and then it's going to attempt to connect right there so on both devices it says searching for data to transfer so it's scanning for files um all right so it's done and here you can see um what would you like to transfer is it everything or is it just contacts and so on so here you're going to see that custom because we just want the um google account to to be transferred so you're going to select accounts and uh, that should be it uh let me see yes that's it so transfer all right so i got an error here couldn't transfer accounts all right guys so this uh smart switch method isn't working for me right now so what i am doing right now is uh, downgrading the firmware to android 10 from a security patch in uh, i believe march of 2021 so i'm doing that now and um, i will have the links to that in the description so that you guys can do it so you need audit and basically you flash this um, so i'll have this information in the description for you guys so once this is done i'll go back and uh, attempt it so you see um, bypassing frp takes a lot of um, a lot of common sense you know if you've had a lot of experience in the android world in the tech world and how those devices work so basically right now it's on a certain security patch so you need to take it to an older security patch which had the vulnerability and basically you do that sometimes there's a block so then you would have to find another way to do it all right so here we are booting up uh, so most likely this time it would work um just waiting for it to boot up okay so it has booted up and i would have to change my language real quick all right english and um, connect to wi-fi So now I'm um, going to, well, I'm already connected to the PC, so I'm going to open the um, application again. And so here, um, bypass FRP, and then OK, reading info, and then it should pass the command over, view. And that URL again would be uh, hardreset.info. Slash bypass. And then from there, you'd be able to run different activities, which would be the Samsung Galaxy Store app. So it will be in a different language. I think that would be Vietnamese. Um, so this here says try it. So you basically uh, tap here. So it should launch the Galaxy Store app and accept and search. So we're going to, well, update. If it asks you to update, do so right away. And once it's done, we're going to search for Smart Switch, uh, download and install. And then we'll open it up and try the process again. So it's going to close Galaxy Store, so then we'll have to open it up again. Alright, so it closed and we're going to have to click again. Uh, so open up the, by the FRP tool and click bypass FRP again. So that will launch.
All right, so now we're going to search for smart switch. Continue allow. Right now, I'm going to plug in my OTG. Okay, so, send data cable, receive data Galaxy cable. Okay, so it's going to say get in connected. Allow. So tap custom next settings and accounts transfer all right so yes copy and i'm going to put in my pin okay and it says copy in accounts So from there it will say go to home screen, uh, you could go ahead and tap that, it will just take you back to setup wizard. Okay, so you can see here it's already added, so next. And that's it guys, so... This is it, by passing FRP on Android 11 or 10. Uh, this works for any uh, Samsung device running these Android versions. Um, if you would have to downgrade, then it is very tricky. Uh, you would have to download different versions uh, of Android 10 uh, from a particular year or month. So um, as for me, I downloaded an Android 10 version from 2021 uh, in March so this one worked for me so it, it really does take a lot of patience um and yeah so this is how you get it done so if you did if it did work for you of course give me a thumbs up uh subscribe to my channel if you like my content and of course be sure to reach me out in the comments if you have any issues and uh thanks again for watching i'll see you guys in another video